So the next one we will introduce is to how to add multiple images into a scene. So you can use that function for a different purpose actually. Uh, I have some images here I prepared for these kind of applications. So for example, if I have a big um, samples, for example, the mouse brain or Drosophila brain or some other a larger size object, which I cannot acquire uh, under the same field of view. So we, I have to do it twice to acquire the health and the health. Then I got the two individual uh, datas, which represent the, each health of the object. Then in Imaris, we have these uh, functions to display these two health in the same, we call the scene. So you can see the uh, complete, completed samples in the single, uh, in the single display without doing the stitching. This is just for a quick, quick uh, preview for the big, bigger uh, samples. So here, if you go to file, add image here, then we can choose another images you want to add into the same 3D view or scene. We call the scene here. Okay, so I now I add H2. So now you can see there is another data set being added to the same scene, and it's called a frame one and the frame two. And on the frame two, you can see there is another another axis manipulator. You can change the position of this image or frame two by change the mouse to select mode and drag this position, right? So now you can freely adjust the position of these images and try to match to the first images. If this is what you want to uh, do using these functions to merge two data set or multiple data set like this. You can change position by dragging this uh, axis, second axis, or using these functions. So uh, translation in the x, y, x, z, or y, z, like this. Okay. Or even the rotation, like this. Okay, try to match, match. Okay, here is a. So this is one of the uh, situations that you may need these functions to you know, add second or third or fourth data set into the same thing. But this is actually just for the display. For the analysis, you still have to do it uh, if you want. Either, either you do it uh, one by one, or you have to use uh, software, other software, to merge them together into a single uh, images. I mean, uh, actually, the single file. Then you open it in Maris and uh, do the analysis. Okay, so this function is mainly for just the display only, just for display only. So this is one scenario you may need to use this function and by change this align to options, you can align based on the image one or image two. Okay, so you can see the position is different and we can try to reset to default set center default. If you uh, mess around and not sure which is the default position, here is a quick reset here. 
So to add image is from the file, add images. But to remove, actually we try to change it, but to, for now, to remove the image, you have to remove from the edit and remove images here. So we can remove the image from here. Edit, remove images. Now this is one scenario. Another scenario you may use this is, for example, if you have this uh, low resolution, low resolution images, for example, maybe you acquire the image under the 10x objective for the overview of your sample like this. But, but if you have another images which you acquired using the higher magnification, for example, 60x, and the focus on only the small area, for example, like this one, you have these uh, high resolution images, which is focused only specific area. And uh, you have done some analysis, for example, counting this uh, spot using the high resolution images. Then in your snapshot or animation, you want to display the whole sample as well as this uh, small but high resolution result. And we can try to overlap, overlap these two images together using these functions, add image functions. Okay, so now if I add images and I have the low resolution ones here. So when I open like this, okay? So I can try to change the position and overlap them. So here, usually we overlap to... So as you can see, what I mean is not so good for the analysis is uh, the spot or other uh, object already created, it will not you know, move together with these images moving in the add image functions. So here maybe the better way is to use this, this one as the reference and uh, add images of the high resolution ones here. Okay. So when you open and the add image, you already analysis, you, you will not see this uh, object already created. So, so either way, so because now it's easier to match the small one with the, the big one. So I use a bigger one as a reference and align the position of this small uh, area to it. But if you really want to show the, the spot inside this or, or surface inside this small area, you have to match, match the, use this one as a reference and match the position of the large uh, image to it, which is not so easy, but it's still doable. But for the, the demo purpose here, I, I choose uh, another way. So I, you won't see the object, I mean the, the spot already created here, right? So to, to match the position, we can drag this and the change the rotation and the try to match these two images like this. Change the position, so no. We can try to. Uh, it's unfortunately this process is a, a manual, based on the manual uh, adjustment. So there is currently no automatic um, alignment in Mar alignment function in Maris to to match the multiple images based on some uh, reference point. So for now everything is manual if you are using these functions. 
Okay, so you can try to match the position of these two images like this. Okay, a little bit, a little tricky, but if you are familiar with your images, oh, like here, so it should be matched here. You should be able to, to, you know, manually merge it. Okay, so I, I won't be super crazy about it. So I just want to show you how, how you can add multiple images here. All right, so now you have a, a low resolution, uh, complete sample images. And when you zoom in into the area, then by adding these uh, high resolution images, you can still see the details. I am not doing perfect here, but it should be doable. Right, so that is how to add the uh, second or multiple images into your current uh, 3D view by using the add images. And uh, if you want to remove, then you can go to edit and uh, remove images here. Okay. Right, so I think that is all I want to uh, cover today about uh, 3D rendering and uh, some visualization topics.